Hai, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back. It's Cikgu Zana again. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to be notified of my new release video. In the previous video, I have shared a lesson on how to integrate by substitution. So for today, I will be sharing another lesson on how to integrate by parts. So shall we start? Let's get to know more about the integration by parts method. The formula used is the integral of u multiplied by dv dx with respect to x is the product of the functions uv minus the integral of v multiplied by du dx with respect to x. The formula is commonly used to integrate the product of two functions and it is obtained by integrating the formula for the differentiation of a product of two functions. Let's observe how the formula of the integration by parts is derived. If u and v are two functions of x, then the derivative of the product of u v is u dv dx plus v du dx. Making u dv dx as the subject of the equation, integrating each side with respect to x, then the formula of the integration by parts is obtained. Here, u v is the result of integrating the derivative of u v with respect to x. This formula can be written briefly as integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du dx. Some of you might face this problem in deciding which method to use. Integration by substitution or integration by parts. So here is a rough guide as to when to use the integration by parts formula. This formula is used when integrating the product of two functions in the form of algebraic or polynomial functions, logarithmic functions, or exponential functions. Let's look at the first example, which involves the integral of algebraic functions. Firstly, split the functions into two parts. That is, choose a function that represents u and a function that represents dv dx. To do this, the function u is chosen such that it becomes a simpler function after it is differentiated. So in this example, u is chosen as x, differentiating, we have a simpler function 1. dv dx is chosen such that it can be integrated to obtain v. So for this example, dv dx is in brackets 2x minus 1 to the power of 3, integrating to obtain v. Here we have the integral of a composite function. So using the formula of the integral of a composite function, v is in brackets 2x minus 1 to the power of 4 divided by 8. Here you do not have to add the constant of integration c. Now, Substitute these values into the formula. 
So the integration of the function is x, which is u, multiplied by in brackets 2x minus 1 to the power of 4 divided by 8, which is v, minus the integral of v times du dx, which is 1. So we have x multiplied by in brackets 2x minus 1 to the power of 4 divided by 8 minus the result of integrating the composite function plus the constant of integration c. Taking out the common factor, we have simplifying further, the final answer is in brackets 2x minus 1 to the power of 4 multiplied by in brackets 8x plus 1 divided by 80 plus c. Example 2 involves the integral of logarithmic functions. So the steps to be taken are split the function into two parts. Choose u a function which becomes simpler after differentiation. Choose dv dx a function that can be integrated to obtain v. Now looking at the function, it seems that there is only one function to be integrated. But to apply the integration by parts method, there must be a product of two functions. So what is the other function besides ln 3x? Yes, the other function is the constant 1. So here, u is chosen as ln 3x. After differentiating, we have a simpler function which is 1 over x. dv dx is 1. Integrating, we have v equals x. Substitute these values into the formula. The integral of ln 3x is ln 3x which is u multiplied by x which is v minus the integral of v times du dx which is 1 over x. Simplifying, the integral of 1 is x. Hence, our final answer is x ln 3x minus x plus c. Example 3 involves the integral of exponential functions. Here, u is chosen as x. Differentiating, we have a simpler function 1. dv dx is e to the power of a negative x. Integrating, we have v equals negative e to the power of negative x. Substitute these values into the formula. So the integral of the function is x, which is u, times a negative e to the power of negative x, which is v, minus the integral of v times 1, which is du dx, with respect to x. Simplifying, solving, so this is our final answer, negative x multiplied by e to the power of negative x minus e to the power of negative x plus c. Let's try finding the integral of this function, x cubed multiplied by ln x. So u is chosen as ln x, differentiating, we have 1 over x, dv dx is x cubed, integrating, we have v equals x to the power of 4 divided by 4. Substitute into the formula, the integral of the function is u, which is ln x, multiplied by v, which is x to the power of 4, divided by 4 minus the integral of v times du dx which is 1 over x respect to x. Simplifying, integrating, we have x to the power of 4 ln x divided by 4 
minus x to the power of 4 divided by 16 plus c. Now, be very careful in writing the product of uv. Our answer can be simplified further by taking out the common factor, which is x to the power of 4 divided by 16. So we are left in the square brackets 4 ln x minus 1 plus c. There are cases where the integration bypass is applied twice. For example, the integral of ln x the whole thing squared with respect to x, which is the integral of 1 multiplied by ln x the whole thing squared with respect to x. Splitting the function into two parts, u is ln x the whole thing squared. Differentiating, we have 2 over x ln x, dv dx is 1, integrating we have v equals x. Substitute these values into the formula. So the integral of the function is x times ln x the whole thing squared minus the integral of x times 2 over x ln x with respect to x. Simplifying. Now, the integral of the function 2 ln x with respect to x can only be obtained by integrating by parts again. Now, splitting the function into 2, u is chosen as ln x. Differentiating, we have 1 over x. And choosing dv dx as 2, integrating, we have v equals 2x. So the integral of 2 ln x is u, which is ln x, multiplied by v, which is 2x, minus the integral of v times du dx, which is 1 over x with respect to x. Simplifying, we have 2x ln x minus the integral of 2 with respect to x. Thus, we have 2x ln x minus 2x. Therefore, the integral of the function ln x the whole thing squared with respect to x is x multiplied by ln x the whole thing squared minus in brackets 2x ln x minus 2x plus c. Simplifying further, we have x multiplied by ln x the whole thing squared minus 2x ln x plus 2x plus c. Here is another example where the integration by parts is applied twice. Splitting the function into two parts, u is x squared. Differentiating, we have 2x. dv dx is e to the power of x. Integrating, we have v equals e to the power of x. Substitute into the formula. So the integration of the function is x squared, which is u, multiplied by e to the power of x, which is v, minus the integral of v, multiplied by 2x, which is du dx, with respect to x. Simplifying. Now, the integral of the function x multiplied by e to the power of x can only be obtained by integrating by parts again. Split the function into two parts. u is x. Differentiating, we have 1. dv dx is e to the power of x. Integrating, we have v equals e to the power of x. Substitute into the formula. So the integral of the function is x times e to the power of x minus the integral of e to the power of x times 1 
with respect to x. Simplifying and integrating, we have x times e to the power of x minus e to the power of x. Thus, the final answer for the integral of x squared times e to the power of x with respect to x is Taking out the common factor which is e to the power of x, so we are left in brackets x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus c. In summary, to apply the integration by parts method, the process is Choose u and dv dx Differentiate u Integrate dv dx Substitute all the values u, du dx and v into uv minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x and lastly simplify and solve that's about all so i end this lesson with a saying practice makes perfect please do visit my channel for more video lesson till then bye for now and see you again in my next video.